All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. So today I just wanted to make a quick little video regarding the movement changes that were made in Cold War for season three. The SMG sprinting move speed is actually slower than assault rifles in the game currently. So now we have to figure out what are the best attachments to use in order to optimize our speed when we're sprinting. We're going to go over some testing that I did with all the underbarrel attachments that do claim that they do improve your speed because most of the descriptions for these underbarrels are pretty vague and it had me questioning and I'm sure you guys are questioning as well. You know, does this 4% or 3% actually make a difference when you compare it to the base weapon? We're going to go over the testing results and then we're going to zero in on what is the best underbarrel to use if you want to be able to sprint faster with your smg and then we're going to kind of go over some general attachment combos that you should be using on all your smgs if you want to go this route of sprinting faster if you guys do enjoy today's video i'd really appreciate a like and make sure to subscribe if you're new around here to make your way back to more call of duty content before the patch came out the sprinting move speed for all smgs with the exception of the AK-74U. The AK-74U had different values for speed for some reason. Uh, but anyways, the sprinting move speed values before season three dropped, it was 10.8 miles per hour, and they actually increased that sprinting move speed base to 14.8 miles per hour. So, you know, when you hear mixed things about, oh, the patch notes say that they increased the SMG mobility or whatever like that, that's exactly what they are talking about. Just improved the sprinting move speed base on all SMGs and this is uniform across all SMGs except for the AK-74U like I stated. Now the one grip that people were most upset about was the speed grip. Before season three, the speed grip would give us plus 10% in our sprinting move speed and now they've cut that down to only 3%. So this kind of raises the question, which of these underbarrels are even worth using on our SMGs to be able to optimize our sprinting move speed? So we have a couple choices here. We have the red cell foregrip at 4%, patrol grip at also 4%, bruiser grip at three percent and then we have the sfod speed grip at three percent as well so now this kind of raises the question that a lot of you probably have is okay so this is plus three at 15.3 miles per hour the bruiser is also plus three but 15.24 miles per hour patrol grip is also plus four at 15.39 miles per hour and the same four percent is on the red cell four grip at 15.36 miles per hour now we're going to put these under barrels to the test and we're going to see which under barrel actually gives us more significant results as far as sprinting move speed increase goes. First, we're going to start off this test with the red cell foregrip, which is on the top here versus the no attachment SMG, which is on the bottom. So as soon as that first movement forward starts, that's when the timer starts. And that's what you are seeing here at 17 milliseconds. So we're going to go ahead and just play it in real time. And then as soon as the operator clears this shadow right here, that's when we're going to stop it. And then we're going to stop it again, respectively for whichever operator comes in second place, most likely supposed to be the no attachment SMG. Then we're going to take those two values, subtract them. And then that's how we're going to know how much faster the attachment that claims it gives us more sprinting move speed is actually faster than the base so let's go ahead and just play this uh, real time all right and they're off they're going and we are gonna stop it right here so we want to see this operator at the top clear it clearly he is in the lead right now so we're just gonna try to go here frame by frame all right and it looks like his whole entire body has cleared that shadow so that is at 6.707 seconds and now let's go ahead and keep moving it because we're still looking for the no attachment and it has cleared the shadow down here so uh we're gonna take these two values we're gonna subtract it and then we're gonna find out exactly how much faster the red cell foregrip is once we are done with the tutorial of how i went about this testing next we got the patrol grip so patrol grip has the same values as far as percentage goes at 4% with the red cell. So let's go ahead and stop it here. Let's back it up at 6.640 seconds. That's when the patrol grip clears that shadow right here of the palm tree. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the base. And there it is at 6.924. So again, we're going to subtract these numbers. That's how we're going to find out how much faster the patrol grip is versus no attachments. All right, up next, we have the bruiser, which gives us 3% sprinting move speed. So let's go ahead and play it here in real time. And uh, this one apparently has uh, audio sound, game sound. 
we're gonna pause it right here we're gonna go take a look at it frame by frame all right and it looks like the bruiser has just cleared this shadow at 6.707 and now let's take a look at how much farther behind the stock was all right, 6.924. And last but not least, we have the SFOD speed grip, which was a topic of conversation. As soon as season three dropped, we all know that they reduced that pro of 10% sprint to move speed to now 3%. So let's see how much of an impact it has had versus the base SMG. They look pretty neck and neck so far. So let's go ahead and pause it right here. Right, and it looks like the palm tree shadow has been cleared at 6.773. And we're gonna keep going here. All right, 6.924. Here are our results for the sprinting move speed in season three with all the attachments that do claim that they do increase that sprinting move speed. So the red cell foregrip gives us 4% at 15.36 miles per hour. And the patrol grip also gives us 4%, but at 15.39 miles per hour. So that, you know, that also raises the question, which is why I do these tests, is how big of a difference are these two miles per hour values? So as you've seen in the testing, the red cell foregrip is a lot slower versus the patrol grip. The patrol grip gives us 284 milliseconds, which is a good thing in this case. You know, we're not talking about time to kill here. We're talking about how much faster something is. And the patrol grip is 284 milliseconds faster than the base SMG and also much faster, clearly, than the red cell foregrip. And uh, if you already can already tell just by taking a glance, the, the patrol grip is definitely the underbarrel to use for maximizing your sprinting move speed versus the other ones. Now, one thing that was pretty disappointing here is that the SFOD speed grip gives us 15.3 miles per hour at 3% increase in our sprint to move speed, but it only gave us 151 millisecond advantage over the base. So, you know, this is uh, mildly confusing because if it gives us 15.3 miles per hour versus something like the Bruiser at the same exact percentage, as you can see, the Bruiser is at 15.24. Why is the speed grip so much slower versus the Bruiser? The Bruiser is actually the second best option here. And uh, keep in mind, the Bruiser actually also has more pros to it. I would definitely advise using either the Patrol Grip or the Bruiser if you want to maximize your sprinting move speed. As you see here by the results, uh, this is just a little confusing. You let me know what you think down below in the comments. So now let's go ahead and transfer to the Gunsmith and talk about some attachments for these SMGs. So let's just go through each of these SMGs really quickly to show you which SMGs can run without an underbarrel that does control that recoil. So the MP5, the MP5 has a bit of a horizontal recoil to it. It bounces left and right pretty frequently. However, the recoil control on the MP5 is not too bad. There are definitely worse SMGs in the game with really bad recoil control. So with the MP5, my recommendation is if you want to go with more speed on your side, you should surely go with the patrol grip or if you're not worried about speed, then definitely the foregrip is a good option for your underbarrel. All right, moving on to the Milano. Milano is definitely a weapon you don't need to use an underbarrel that controls that recoil the recoil control on the Milano already is pretty amazing so you don't need to worry about using something like the field agent grip or the SFOD speed grip to control that horizontal recoil control and again remember SFOD speed grip does virtually almost nothing as far as improving your sprinting move speed so this is another smg you could use the patrol grip on or if you wanted to go with another underbarrel to control that recoil go with the foregrip all right so moving on to the ak-74u it is a bit of a special case mainly because its base speed stats are slightly lower than the rest of the smgs so let me just show you here what i'm talking about so if we take a look at the stats here the sprinting move speed is slightly slower on the ak-74u at 14 14.54 whereas if we were to go to something like the milano for example that sprinting move speed is at 14.8 so there clearly is a difference there in sprinting move speed i'm not really sure why the 74u is the outlier here as far as you know having a lower value for sprinting move speed but it still doesn't change the way we're going to pick our underbarrel so for the ak-74u again it is one of those guns that are slightly harder to use at longer ranges so you do have to think twice about whether or not you want to prioritize recoil control or you want to prioritize your speed so 
you want to go with speed, obviously patrol grip is the one you're going to use. But if you want to control that recoil, you could go with the Spetsnaz grip. But keep in mind of that shooting move speed that reduces that greatly. However, you do see a pretty good return in your accuracy. And, you know, let's just be real. Sometimes the 74U can be hard to control from long range. And if you put on the right attachments, it will make your life so much easier. So either the Spetsnaz grip or the foregrip that will help you out. And also don't forget, you could pair it with a muzzle such as the Spetsnaz compensator or the KGB eliminator. You can't go wrong with either of these attachments. It's all really based on your personal preference on how you play the game. If you play the game a little bit slower, then KGB eliminator might be for you since it does reduce that shooting move speed whereas if you're a little bit more aggressive then you want to use the specialized compensator because it does not compromise your speed whatsoever ksp 100 is one of those guns where you can run without an underbarrel that does control that recoil so i definitely advise to use the patrol grip on the ksp 45 next we have the bullfrog same thing can be said about the bullfrog underbarrel that controls recoil is not necessary on the bullfrog the bullfrog is an absolute laser so with this one you should definitely run with the patrol grip as well on the bullfrog if you want if you want to run a little bit faster you know let me just uh, stop myself here let me just clarify you know if you see me making class setup videos based on you know these individual smgs that you just saw me here and i'm giving you guys recommendations on what attachments to use Keep in mind, this video is specifically for people who are looking for the best viable attachments to optimize your sprinting move speed on every SMG. So don't get it twisted. Don't say like, oh, in this video, you said patrol grip was the best underbarrel. You know, so I just want to make that clear before anybody says anything about that. So like I said, Bullfrog is one of those guns that have really good recoil control as is. You can put on the patrol grip on it and it's not going to affect its overall performance. And then of course, pair that up with the muzzle of the Spetsnaz Compensator or the KGB Eliminator. All right, with the MAC-10, for sure, I definitely wouldn't advise using an underbarrel that does not control recoil. So you either have to go with the field agent grip or you can go with the speed grip. Now, I know I just said earlier that the speed grip doesn't do anything as far as improving your sprinting move speed. However, we're not using this attachment for improving our sprinting move speed. Like I said, the MAC-10 is one of those guns where you absolutely need attachments that help with your recoil control. So field agent and SFOD speed grip are still viable as far as control and recoil control. However, don't expect this attachment to give you more sprinting move speed. Speed, so you have to keep that in mind and actually a third option you can go with is the foregrip it has no cons to it however it doesn't give you as many vertical recoil control pros versus the sfod speed grip speed grip gives you 10 percent foregrip only gives you four percent so you really got to pick your poison and maybe you can pair the pair up this foregrip with a muzzle, we got the SOCOM Eliminator at 25% vertical recoil control. LC-10, you definitely can run without an underbarrel that controls that recoil. So, patrol grip is obviously warranted on this gun if you want to sprint around the map a lot faster and not have to worry about your recoil control. You don't need an underbarrel that does that. If you want to see an in-depth video on the PPSH, that link will be down below in the description. So, with this gun specifically, the recoil control is not that stellar. It actually has a pretty wild... Uh, horizontal recoil control to it the recoil pattern is an s shape and it's like a zigzag it zigzags to the left and then to the right you know so it's really hard to control this gun unless you have the right attachments that do control the recoil so i don't advise you to use the patrol grip on here this is a type of gun where you want to prioritize your recoil control so one of your best options is going to be the foregrip because there is no con to it and that 18% is actually pretty huge for controlling that horizontal recoil that I just spoke of. Or if you want to and you don't care about the shooting move speed con to it, Spetsnaz grip will help you out even more. Just wanted to make a video just discussing this whole sprinting move speed nerf and just give you guys a little bit more clarity on what underbarrels you guys should be using in game. So if you guys did learn something, a like is always appreciated and make sure to subscribe if you're brand new around here to make your way back to the channel. Yo, if you guys are always on your computer all day or you like to game for long sessions, definitely check out GamerAdvantage.com for these blue light blocking glasses. Quite literally the best blue light glasses that you can ever find on the market. Make sure to check out GamerAdvantage.com and just learn more about it, man. There's so many benefits to keeping your eyes nice and healthy. You won't feel that strain at the end of the day and you'll go to sleep like a baby at the end of the day. And that's the best part. You won't feel tired at all. Definitely check out GamerAdvantage.com. Use code TURBO at checkout.